name is Alan Ozzigate. I'm a second year medical student at the University of Nicosia. Can I quickly confirm your full name and date of birth, please? Andreas Nicola. I was born the 15th of February 1984. And can I call you Andreas? Is that yes, okay? Fine. Okay, very nice to meet you, Andreas. Today, my supervisor has asked me to perform a respiratory examination, which involves having a look, having a feel around your chest, and listen to some of your chest related sounds with my stethoscope. And based on the nature of this examination, it's required that you're exposed from waist upwards so that I can perform the examination. How does that sound? It's okay. Perfect. And because I'm a medical student, I am being supervised. So my supervisor might have to repeat this examination after I do. And having said that, you do have the right to withdraw consent at any time and that will not affect your care. Are you happy with all of this information? Yeah, happy. Perfect. Are you in any pain at the moment? No, no, no. Would you like a chaperone during this consultation? Oh, it's fine. No, Would you like to proceed? Yeah. Very well. Upon inspection of the patient, the patient appears to be well. They're not agitated, they're not cyanosed, and they're not coughing, wheezing, or showing any other signs of respiratory distress. In the surroundings, I do not see any cigarette packs as to suggest a smoking status. I do not see any medication, inhalers, nebulizers, or oxygen masks as to suggest an ongoing problem. Let's get started, shall we? Could you please outstretch your hands like this and let me inspect them? Upon inspection of the hands, I do not see any tar staining. There is no pallor. Could you flip, flip them over? Very well, flip them back. Or uh, peripheral cyanosis. Can you do this for me? There is no sign of, there is no evidence of clubbing. And could you, again? There is no fine tremor. And could you place your hands like this, cock them back and remain like that ideally for 30 seconds. And after 30 seconds has elapsed, I don't see any evidence of flapping. Very well, you can place your hands on the Very well. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take your pulse if that's okay. The pulse appears to be regular. I'll just place it over here. Even though I've mentioned that I'm taking the pulse, I'm actually checking the patient's respiratory rate. I don't want them to be conscious about their respiratory rate, so I say I'm taking the pulse. I would count to 30 seconds and multiply the respiratory rate by 2. So let's say approximately the respiratory rate is 14 breaths per minute. On the arms, I do not see any scars. Moving up to the face, on the patient's face, I don't see any evidence of um, Horner's syndrome, such as anhydrosis, ptosis, myosis, or enophthalmos. Could you pull down your eyelids for me? There is no evidence of conjunctival pallor. Can you please open your mouth for me and touch the roof of your mouth with your tongue? There is no evidence of central cyanosis. Moving down to your neck, I do not see any visible scars, no lumps or swellings. I will go ahead and gently touch your windpipe, okay? It might be slightly uncomfortable, but it shouldn't be painful. I'm gonna be assessing for tracheal deviation. There is no evidence of tracheal deviation or accessory muscle use as the patient takes a breath in and out. Now I would like you to expose your chest for me, please. Upon inspection of the patient's chest, the chest is rising symmetrically as the patient takes a breath in and out. I do not see any accessory muscle usage. There is no barrel-shaped chest, and I do not see any chest drains on either side, and there are no apparent chest wall veins. Next, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to have a feel of your chest, if that's okay with you, okay? Now, take a deep breath in and out, and I will place my hands on your ribcage. Very well. Again, take a deep breath in and out for me. Excellent. The chest is rising symmetrically, and the expansion is greater than 6 centimeters, which appears to be within the norm. 
As I do this, I place my hands on the bottom of the rib cage, and my thumbs are looking upwards without touching the patient's chest so that I can actually see the expansion. Next, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna uh, place my hand on your chest, and every time I do so, please say 99. 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99. Symmetrical intensity of buzzing on both sides, so frematus appears to be normal, it's not increased or decreased, and it's um, the same symmetrically. Next, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to tap on your chest, okay? Starting with your collarbone. And don't forget the sides for the basis of the lungs. And resonant sounds are heard through and through. There is no dullness that I could hear. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to listen to your chest sounds with my stethoscope, okay? And if you can cough for me first. <coughs> And I will listen to the apex with the bell. Take a deep breath in and out for me every time I place the stethoscope. Switching over to the diaphragm. Vesicular breathing sounds are present through and through. There are no added breathing sounds such as crackles or wheezing. Next, I will do the same thing, but this time I would like you to say E every time I touch the stethoscope. Again, starting with the bell. Eh, 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 eh. Eh, eh. Very well, clear sounds are heard, so there is no evidence of egophony. Excellent. Now it's time to check your back. If you can lean forward a little bit for me. Excellent. Upon inspection of the patient's back, there is no asymmetry. I don't see any deformities such as kyphosis or scoliosis, and there are no scars. I will go ahead and check your glands around your neck now, okay? Starting with preauricular, posterior auricular, occipital, running down to deep cervical, Supraclavicular, and infraclavicular lymph nodes. I am not able to feel any swellings of the lymph nodes. Can you please kind of give yourself a hug like this? And this helps us expose more of the lung tissue. First, I'm going to go ahead and place my hand, and every time I do so, please say 99. 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99. There is no increase or decrease frematus, and equal intensity is heard on both sides. Now I'm going to go ahead, and just like the front, I will go ahead and tap on your back.
Resonance sounds are present symmetrically through and through. There is no dullness. Next, I'm going to go ahead and again check your breathing sounds with my stethoscope. Every time I touch the stethoscope, please take a deep breath in and out for me. Very well. Vesicular breathing sounds are present. There are no added breath sounds such as crackles or wheezing. Next, I'll do the same thing again. This time, say E for me. E, 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 E. Clear sounds are heard, so there is no evidence of egophony. Next, I will go ahead and check your ankles for edema, if that's okay. I'm just going to lower your socks, okay? There is no evidence of pitting edema. This concludes our examination. Thank you very much. You may now get dressed. I'll report all of my findings to my supervisor and get back to you.